Why do we compete? Why do we dig our feet into the sand and face the daunting odds of defeat? Why do we dare to be great? After coming within two points of a national title in 2017, Pepperdine Beach Volleyball begins the 2018 season alongside every other Division I team at the bottom of the mountain. When you come up just short of a goal, doubt creeps in. Could I have done more? Did I leave everything out on the court? More importantly, how do I learn from this? For junior Skylar Caputo and her Pepperdine teammates, this offseason has had a singular focus, redemption. We're out there for not revenge, but we're out there to like just go take care of business and finish what we started last year. When you go into national championships, literally yeah. it's like level playing field. Yeah. And my freshman year, like Katie our, and Nikki freshman, I feel like we didn't get challenged enough in the beginning. Yeah. And we ended up being fifth in uh, NCAAs. But the next year, the way Nina laid it out, I feel like we were well prepared. I have no idea what the outcome's gonna be, but all I know is that we only take it one game at a time, whether it's USC or like Cal Poly or Grand Canyon. We treat them all the same. We go out there and we're going to win all of our games. Like, that's our goal. But with USC, it is kind of like that. Wow, we literally lost the championship by like two points. And it's like, this, this year, it's going to be different. Past performance is no guarantee of future success. But as the preseason number two ranked team in America, Pepperdine has a unique opportunity to avenge last season's bitter championship defeat. Up. Nice, good nice, good setting, good setting, good passing. Yes, good. The team is led by volleyball legend Nina Matthews, a two-time national champion player while at UCLA and an AVCA Hall of Fame inductee in 2015. Matthews spearheaded the fight to sanction beach volleyball as a Division I sport. After nearly 40 years of coaching, Matthews announced that the 2018 campaign would be her last. What's not to love about beach volleyball? When I was younger, um, there weren't any sports for women, and so we lived at the beach, and I learned how to play beach volleyball when I was very young, and it became something that I was good at, and uh, I liked teaching it, I liked getting people involved in it, and so just sort of uh, snowballed <laughs> for the last uh, 50 years, and here I am. Is it the service coming this way? That's yeah. Back here? Yeah. So when it's going this way or this way, it's because you're letting it come high. Um, and you're like, go, 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 so like, like my arms might be too, right? Yeah. The, the lightness of the arms. It's, the problem is not the arms, it's your feet, because you're waiting for it to okay. come too high, and then you're standing up, and you can't you can't send it forward when you're standing up. You have to send it one way or the other. Like I said. We're so good. Now, I got I, it. I, so we're good. I got it. I got it. Yeah. This group knows nothing is given. It must be earned. And the off-season in beach volleyball is spent fighting for roster spots. We sort of put pairs together here and there and looking at how uh, personalities go. Um, it's not always, uh, I know coaches from the outside always wonder why isn't somebody playing with somebody. It's, well, you put them together and 
they just really don't play that well together. <laughs> That's why you don't put them together. Um, there, there's a personality thing in, the, in this whole pairs deal. Um, so putting the teams together and then having them compete in practice every day, compete in drills and compete with what we're doing and everything. They're competing in the weight room, they're competing in the, you know, in the sand every day. Um, they're competing with each other um, as a partners and they're competing against everyone else. So I think this year we've been really, really close. It's, like been, it's been a toss up back and forth. Beach volleyball can be an unforgiving sport. The line between glory and failure is finer than a grain of sand. For Pepperdine to achieve its goal in 2018, it must let the past wash away. The journey back up the mountain begins next week with formidable tests against number three UCLA and number one USC. It will not be easy. No worthwhile goal ever is. But these waves are resilient, storm-born. They move with a singular goal, a unified vision found in the promise of a new season. These waves dare to be great.